the fastest version of Flux Dev has finally been released. You can now use the official Flux Dev version to produce incredible images in just eight steps, which is almost three times faster than the original version of Flux with no compromise in quality. In the rest of the video, I'll show you how to download this version, install and run it on Comfy UI and provide a detailed and amazing comparison between this step version, the GGF Hyper versions and the original Flux version, which operates on 20 steps. In my previous videos, I explained what the GGF versions are. This comparison covers everything you need to know from A to Z and shows you exactly what you need. So there's no need to search online or ask me again. I've included a complete breakdown comparing the 20 step model, the goof versions and this new 8 step version of Flux, which I am introducing in this video. You'll see the quality, speed and which setup is optimal for your system, whether you have a weak or strong system. There is nothing else you'll need after watching this video, so just grab a coffee, sit back and enjoy. Also, don't forget that at the end of the video, I'll be sharing a trick for very weak systems showing how they can still run flux at great speeds, even faster than normal and achieve outstanding quality. So be sure to stick around until the end of to catch that tip. First, let's get started with downloading this model, which is available via this link on GitHub. I'll include all the necessary links in the description so there's no need for you to search for them. This high-speed version known as Flux Turbo comes from the Alimama collection and they've released this model, which reminds me Alibaba, but this is Alimama very interesting they've released this model as a lura you'll need to download this lura and integrate it into your workflow on the github page where ali mama's collection has released this lura you can see sample images generated with this model you can see that in terms of quality it's 99 percent same quality as the original flux model and at first glance you probably won't even realize that the image was generated in just eight steps, which makes it about three times faster than the original 20 step flux. This is, of course, because we are using fewer steps, which speeds up the image generation process. Based on my calculations, it's approximately three times faster. Now let's move on the files and version sections. Once you're there, you will see the file for this model, which you can download by clicking this button here. Once downloaded, copy it, then go to the main Comfy UI folder and then Models folder and Lura folder. Paste it here. And because it has a rather confusing name, I'm going to rename it here and call it Flux Turbo 8 Step. Now all you need to do is open your Comfy UI. If you found the video helpful so far, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Creating videos like this takes a lot of time and effort and your likes and shares really motivate me to keep making more high quality detailed tutorials. So don't hold back on showing some love to Joker AI. Thanks a lot. For the workflow, I've already taught you different workflows in the previous videos and I've included the download links under this video. I'll also add all the workflows that you can use with these LoRa's so you can download everything from here without needing to go to the other videos. But I recommend you to watch my previous videos if you are new to Comfy UI or Flux models and you will learn a lot about Flux AI. After you download the workflow, just drag and drop it into the Comfy UI. If you are very new to Comfy UI, make sure to check this video to learn how to install Comfy UI locally on your computer and after that come back to this video. First, we need to choose our checkpoint model or main model. You can either use the original Flux dev model, which is 23 gigabytes, or you can use the Flux GGUF versions of Flux dev. However, I strongly advise against using GGUF models with the 8 steps Turbo Lura because they'll give you slower speeds. Yes, you heard that right. Slower speeds with GGUF models. What's interesting is that, as I mentioned in the previous video, the goof models are typically faster than the Flux dev, but with the 8 step Lura, the tests I ran showed that the goof models were slower compared to the original 23 gigabyte Flux dev model even with Flux GGUF Q8, 
which is the highest quality goof model of Flux Dev, it took me a lot of time to generate an image. I might even say that the quality was slightly lower compared to the original Flux Dev. So what are we doing? We are downloading the original Flux Dev, which is 23 gigabytes. I highly recommended you guys download this version. Yes, it's a large file, but it can have a huge impact on both the speed and quality of your work. In fact, we're using the original Flux Dev model, which usually doesn't work on our system. Some of you might have weaker systems, those with 12 gigabytes or less VRAM, and you've probably never used the 23 gigabyte Flux Dev model on your system because it's too slow and practically unusable. It could be so frustrating that you might have given up and switched to optimized models like Goof NO4 or HyperGoof to get faster performance. But this turbo version has much faster speed compared to even the HyperGoof version. Before I continue the rest of the tutorial in the workflow, I want you to have a clear understanding. If you pay attention here, I provide six group or i can say six folder here and produce various outputs with different settings so you can compare them each of these folders represent a specific setting in our workflow showing which options to select to get the most optimized performance the highest speed and the best quality output i've tested everything all the options so you can won't waste your time you can easily look at the comparison i've made Choose the option that fits your needs and get your desired output without having to test all the settings yourself. Some systems might crash and you might not even realize what's happening or you might not be able to test everything. I've done that for you. The most important point I want to highlight in this video for choosing the best combination is the node load diffusion model. It has two parts. You can see it here. The first part asks you to select the model checkpoint and below it asks for the weight type. I'll explain in details what the weight type is, what each of the four options means and how it can affect your speed and quality. I'll also explain which is suitable for what type of system which offers higher speed, which gives you better quality and which is the most optimized. I'll cover all of this in detail for you. All right, guys. Let's start by selecting the last option, FP8 E5M2. I'll choose this option and I'll explain exactly what it means in a moment. For now, we'll set our model to the main Flux model. Oh, I haven't explained how to download yet. You will head over to this link on GitHub, which is in the description. Go to the file and versions. And here, if you pay attention, we have Flux, which is about 23 gigabyte in size. You can click on this button and download it. Once your download is complete, where you should put it? We go to the main folder of Comfy UI, then to the models folder, and here, then the unit folder. This is where we'll paste it. Now let's open the Comfy UI and hit refresh button so our model loads. Then we come into this node, click on the first row, and select Flux Dev. It's as simple. For the second option I mentioned before, we set it to FP8 E5M2. Then we go to the LoRa section, click Add LoRa, and select Flux Turbo 8 step. Put amount of 1 for Flux Turbo 8 LoRa. To the next node, I set the number of steps to 8 and set the image size to 1344 by 768 which gives us a vertical image and i write my prompt here which i've already put it into the prompt node then we hit generate button to save time i've already done the generation process beforehand because i'm recording and if i were to generate it now the video would get too long and it would slow down our process now this is the image i generated with these settings and you can see it on the screen Look at how amazing the quality is. With just 8 steps, I was able to get this result and see how well it captured the details. It's really impressive. Now I have this image here and I'm bringing in another one for comparison. This other image which you see here was generated without the 8 step 
Turbo Laura and was produced using the main Flux dev model that's 23 gigabytes generated with 20 steps which takes a lot more time you'll notice that there isn't much of difference between the two and we can hardly tame them apart you also could even upscale the image and it would be exceptional in quality in the previous video i explained how you can upscale an image in just one step with flux at a very fast speed giving you an amazing quality be sure to check out that video because it's the best guide for upscaling and you won't find anything like it on youtube or anywhere else now in this next slide i've detailed all the settings in the workflow showing you the speed time and quality for each option as you can see i've divided them into three sections the first part has two options without lura using the base flux model we generated the output with flux dev in the most basic model without using the eight step turbo lora this took a lot of time as it's very heavy in the first mode pay attention how flux 23 gigabytes works on the default weight type what's the default weight type i'll explain it later in detail don't worry about that for now look at this on default mode generating an image of this size took two minutes and seven seconds which is a really long time for just one image. Imagine waiting two minutes and seven seconds for one image. It's the heaviest option available. The second option is a still flux 23 gigabyte, which is the main flux model, but we set the weight type to FP8 E5M2, 20 steps without LoRa. This took one minute and 20 seconds to generate the image, which is faster than the default option. In the second category, we also have two options, still using the main Flux 23 gigabyte model, but with eight step Turbo LoRa. In the first option, we set weight type to default, and it took 54 seconds to generate the image, which is half the time compared to the two minutes and seven seconds it took in the first category. So our speed nearly doubled and the time was optimized. The second option, which is the best and most optimized, gives both great quality and very high speed its main flux 23 gigabytes model with FP8 E5M2 along with 8 step Turbo LoRa, which is the most optimized option. If you want the best performance on a 12 GB GPU, it's better to choose these settings. Now I'll show you the images generated with these two options on the screen. On the left, you see the image generated with flux 23 gigabytes using the default weight type and 8 step turbo LoRa. The quality, as you can see, is absolutely amazing. There's almost no visible difference between this and the original flux dev in 20 steps. Now I'll show you the original flux image, which took 2 minutes and 7 seconds in default weight type, and other one took only 54 seconds on turbo mode. As you can see, there's hardly difference between these two. Now let's place these two side by side. Flux dev 23 gigabyte in default mode with 8 step turbo LoRa and Flux 23 gigabyte with FB8 EMM2 and 8 step turbo LoRa. We generated an image in just 33 seconds with amazing quality. These two options are the best choices. They offer higher speed and better quality. So I'd say forget about the first and third categories. You won't need them unless you have a very high end GPU. It doesn't matter which model you use. You can generate an image in 33 seconds, which is really fast for such a large image. If I lower the size, it will take even less time. The final category is GGUF or Goof Flux models. With these, you can output both Q8 and Hyper 8 step, which in my test took 1 minute and 47 seconds. In this category, we don't have weight type anymore as that exclusive to main flux. The goof models no longer use weight types and hyper 8 step took 43 seconds in my test. Even though in the previous one, I showed you the 8 step turbo LoRa option with flux 23 gigabyte, which is the main flux model, which took just 33 seconds. Now, if I show you the quality of hyper and Q8 in this comparison, you can see that the 8 step turbo LoRa model gave a much better result in both quality and time. This is great news because you can get both higher quality and faster speed. That's because the LoRa model is really well 
optimized and you can easily use it now i'm going to explain the four option for the weight d type in the weight d type section of the load diffusion model node in comfy ui the four options you see default fp8 e4 m3 fn fp8 e4 m3 fm fast and fp8 e5 m2 refer to different types of precision and number formatting used for the model's weight these options impact both performance and image generation quality here is a breakdown of each option first default this uses the default precision typically fp16 or fp32 depending how the model was built it offers the highest precision but also consumes more memory and processing power. This is ideal when you want the best possible quality at the cost of a slower generation speeds. Second one, FP8 E4M3FN. This option uses FP8 precision, which lowers the precision and reduces the range of values that can be represented. However, it significantly decreases memory usage and increases speed. Using this option, may result in faster image generation but with a slight reduction in image quality or detail. The third one, FP8 E4 M3 FM Fast, similar to the previous FP8 mode but optimized for even faster performance. Some additional operations like normalization might be skipped for speed. It's the fastest option but you might notice a further reduction in image quality or model accuracy. The fourth one, FP8 E5 M2, which we used to generate our images. Another FP8 precision mode, but with a wider range of representable values. It provides better precision compared to other FP8 modes while still optimizing for memory and speed. This option strikes a good balance between performance and quality. One last note about the default setting. If you want to use default setting for weight d type note that it provides the highest quality because it's the heaviest and it delivers the best output although the difference isn't always noticeable unless you look closely the 12 billion parameters are only available in the default mode if you choose the 12 billion parameters in the main flux dev model which is 23 gigabytes only available in the default mode if you choose any of the lower options, some of those 12 billion parameters are reduced to increase the speed. If you are working in default mode and make even a small change to your prompt or setting, such as changing a word or adjusting a LoRa or image size, generating the next image will take much longer as Flux reloads everything into the VRAM and reprocesses the output. However, this problem doesn't happen with the other three versions. Once the model is loaded, the generation speed remains high for subsequent runs, immediately starting from the steps without delay. For fixed seed, there's no issues. But if you modify anything else, it will take a long time. A trick for default mode. After making changes to your prompt, hit generate and wait for the green screen bar to reach custom advanced sampler node. Then hit view queue, cancel it, and wait for the cancellation, and then click again on queue prompt. You will see the time significantly reduce on subsequent runs. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.